Wake up, Ryrie, it's Christmas! Oh, I'm awake, and I've got a list of the best couch co-op games you can buy for any couple this Christmas. So whether you're buying something for yourself or somebody else you know, make sure to buckle up and enjoy the ride. When it comes to the best co-op games for couples, nothing beats It Takes Two. If you already have this one, you can skip ahead. But if you don't, you're going to want to listen close. It Takes Two is the best co-op game we could ever recommend. The story follows Cody and May, a husband and wife on the verge of divorce. Thanks to their daughter's magical tears, they go on a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids epic adventure and learn to overcome obstacles together. Aside from the fact that this is a story about restoring lost love, there are a ton of fantastic co-op mechanics mixed in with the beautiful art style and fun puzzles. There is absolutely no way to beat this game alone as it requires cooperation around every corner. Whether it's the opposing magnets you use to launch each other across gaps or the hammer and nail duo, you are sure to love every little way this game gets you to work together. As you play through It Takes Two, you'll get to experience a little piece of every game genre there is. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> That makes it great for new gamers who don't know what games they enjoy as of yet. Before the release of It Takes Two, Unravel 2 topped our co-op game list. This game has mystery around every bend. You and your partner will be playing as two little yarn figures linked together by a shared thread. The story is ominous and often chilling as you struggle to follow along, but what really brought us into the game is its excellent mode of travel. At its core, Unravel is a 2D platformer, but with some wonderful cooperative mechanics. While there is plenty of the standard running and jumping of every other 2D platformer, the game actually relies heavily on being able to use your yarn to swing from one anchor to another, similar to how Spider-Man travels across the New York skyline. However, even more complex was the ways we were encouraged to work together. Sometimes I would act as a counterbalance for Carly as she rappelled down a hill, and other times we had to time our swings perfectly together so as to not ruin the momentum of a jump. This is a great game to experience together and is one of the best 2D platformers we have ever played. Oh, oh, ah, can't forget a gift for Carly in uh, the stocking. Boy, this game is great! While playing games together is absolutely fantastic, it's also nice to have a couple of games that support more than two players, so you can share them with friends. Sackboy at Big Adventure is absolutely brilliant for this, and will have both you and your guests smiling at the fun, constantly moving cardboard landscapes. Not to mention continuously grooving to the excellent soundtracks that are guaranteed to bring copyright strikes on YouTube. Each of these levels are fairly short, with some taking around 5 minutes and others around 15. This is one of the most enjoyable 3D platformers we have ever played, and definitely the best in the co-op gameplay aspects. Heck, the game even changes little things to adapt to the number of players you have, so you can be sure no one will be left out. Though it's still a great option for just two players if you, like us, have no friends. Near and dear to our hearts is Don't Starve Together, one of the first games that we played together as a couple. This survival game is thrilling with just a touch of fear. After entering through a portal, you find yourself stranded in the wilderness with nothing but your wits to help you survive. So get to it! This land is filled with dangers around every corner, whether that's surviving your first night, fending off monsters, or trying not to starve. This, as any other survival game, revolves around collecting materials that you can use to craft better and better items, starting farms, and surviving the seasons. The game is originally meant to be played with permadeath, though we prefer to play in the endless mode that allows you to come back to life with a handicap rather than doing all the hard work over again. If you like a little more challenge or mystery, then you can't go wrong with Don't Starve Together. While not starving takes a lot of concentration and can be quite stressful, Pote is a game you can relax and have a nice cup of cocoa to. <laughs> <laughs> This puzzle exploration game has you play as these two adorable characters, and has you explore a gorgeous 3D environment solving puzzles with your special ability. Only together will you be able to complete each level and move on to the next area. This is one of the more unique co-op games that actually give both of you individual skills that complement each other. The star is able to cause plants to grow while the rock is able to make rocks move. You are also able to unlock more skills as you progress farther into the game and combine your abilities to solve more complex puzzles and help each other reach difficult areas. This is an excellent game where you both have things to do and can't proceed without each other. Overcooked was the first game that Ryrie and I ever played together. This is a much more action-packed and stressful game than the last few on the list. 
So if you are afraid of arguments, this might not be the one for you. However, this game is largely responsible for our love of gaming together and with friends. This is the only way you will find us happily washing dishes as we frantically attempt to clean, cook, and assemble burgers, pizzas, and soups to serve customers before time runs out. All of this talking about food has me pretty hungry, so give me a second. Make sure to save some for us! Overcooked. Overcooked is almost an impossible game if your communication skills aren't up to snuff. There are constantly new obstacles being introduced and you will often be required to pass ingredients and dishes back and forth and find a good rhythm for who needs to handle which parts of every new kitchen. We honestly always have to take a break as things become too heated, but we never look back at the experience with anything but fondness. As the classic Christmas gift for kids, Legos never lose their charm. And that's the same in video game form. For this, we are not talking about any game specifically, but letting you choose. Almost every Lego game supports couch co-op and follows the same basic formula to create a fun and amusing game in whatever world you choose. The playstyle and co-op mechanics are a ton of fun and simple to pick up. So enjoy accidentally smashing each other to pieces and switching between every available character. Speaking of classic Christmas gifts, everybody needs clothes and our co-op gaming merch is 25% off all holiday season and we just got sweatshirts. So make sure to keep yourself or somebody else warm this holiday season by going to thecoopstop.com or clicking the first link in the description. When choosing which LEGO game, go with something you love. These games are spread across a large variety of franchises, and whatever one you choose will immerse you in a LEGO adventure of your favorite story. Whether you go with the Harry Potter series, the Star Wars saga, The Hobbit, The Incredibles, or something else, you are bound to have a fantastic time smashing LEGO structures and collecting as many studs as you can. While Overcooked was the first game we ever played together, we actually enjoyed Tools Up more. Tools Up shares a lot of similarities with Overcooked. However, much like with this three-year-old gingerbread house, instead of chopping tomatoes and onions, you will be laying carpet and moving furniture. And instead of serving customers and washing dishes, you'll be cleaning floors and tearing down walls. But the biggest difference of all was that we had a much easier and more relaxing time. The game is all about remodeling apartments and making them brand new. There are a bunch of adorable characters to unlock as you go along, and there are constantly new challenges being introduced from new construction skills to fishing materials out of of a river or avoiding the wandering dog. The game does an excellent job of presenting just the right amount of challenge to be enjoyable without being infuriating. So if you want Overcooked without the tension and constant blaming of each other, then this is the one. Puzzle games tend to be some of our favorites, and they usually offer better cooperation because you have to work together to solve each problem. Snipper Clips is a fantastic puzzle game that, while fairly simple, will definitely get you laughing. By overlaying your characters, you can start cutting each other to pieces in order to get the perfect shape for what you need. Whether you're trying to create a specific shape together or move a ball into a hoop, you'll have to find the best way to do so. Or sometimes you might challenge yourself by being stubborn and trying something repeatedly just to see if you can get it to work. It's a straightforward game that gives you little direction about what you need to do, but instead lets you experiment and learn from your mistakes. Harley! That's for you. <laughs> if you've ever wanted to travel through space in a ship that's not nearly nice enough to make the trip, <laughs> then you need to try 39 Days to Mars. This is an interesting two-player co-op game that will have you solving issues in between frequent tea and biscuit breaks. The entire game is lovingly voice acted with British accents and the characters seem way too nonchalant as your ship falls apart. In order to fix the ship, you'll have to solve puzzles by each controlling a hand and moving objects around until you figure out what you're supposed to do. These puzzles vary from actual puzzles that need to be assembled to memory challenges and plenty of puzzles that don't fit in any category at all and just simply require you to figure them out as you go. One video can only cover so many games, so click on this video where we talk about the best games to get for families and parties this holiday season. Each game supports up to four players and will make your parties the talk of the town. We love you guys. Y'all are awesome.